Welcome back everyone. It's always good to see so many viewers are watching my terrible videos because I don't consider myself a full-time YouTuber or anything like that. I just want to show you the truth in one way. Not like many other YouTubers just want to sell like rug pulls and fake stuff to you guys. Okay, so coming back to Pokestarter, the largest launch pad on the market today. They call themselves a uh, cross chain, but I'm not sure I would call them that. But okay, and now we're going back to one of their upcoming pre sales. Earlier we did Crypto Citizen and we found out that it's a terrible ball, right? Yeah, so now we're gonna go to the next one. This one is not done yet. This one coming soon. Sale starts in three days, one hour, and 43 minutes. So I hope I can put this one up on YouTube in one hour, two hours. Okay. So before it says two days there. Okay. So the, the fundraising goal is 600,000 and the max allocation you can buy per wallet is actually $2,000. So I did a bit of research about Wombat. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, not this one. Okay. Here we have Wombat. So what is Wombat, you might ask? Well, according to Polkastar's website, Wombat is the place that brings millions of gamers from Web 2 to Web 3 by offering the smoothest NFT experience at the nexus of both worlds. Wow! And here it says, let's see, <coughs> I'm a bit dry in my throat, sorry, sorry. <coughs> Get some water. Yes, okay, and here it says that today Wombat offers the best of Web 2 and Web 3 by providing access to AA and AAA games, where fun is at the core of the experience instead of earning, while on the same time investing in developing the Web3 discovery and making it as smooth as possible for gamers. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And that the Wombat ecosystem delivers a premium Web3 gaming experience through the Wombat wallet, the Wombat loyalty system, and the top 20 Web3 game Wombat Dungeon Master. <coughs> Sorry again. One problem. Let's go down here, here. One problem that they have addressed here is that Wombat claims that they are offering superior Web3 technological cap capabilities for gaming, since there is nowhere to be found in other Web3 games. Well, you have like Bomb Crypto and you have like really lousy games, right? So you need some AAA games or just AA games, not like old Nintendo 8-bit games. However, let's continue. And their solution, here we have it, is that Wombat adopts, adapts proven Web2 pra practices for Web3 and elevates blockchain gaming to its inclusive, interconnected, user-friendly, and social form. And what does that mean? I have no effing ID. It's like you take up a lot of good words and put them together with no meaning, and then you have... Yeah, nothing. Okay. And the overall goal for this Wombat 3 Web3 gaming platform is to become a social gaming experience based upon gaming NFTs. However, when reading through this, in my eyes, in a way, it simply sounds like Steam. A platform with games, but for Web2, okay? And they're not going to develop any games themselves so far, it doesn't look like that or similar but only be the platform for game developers to add the games in a way that would be a good idea yes however 
if game developers or even web game developers want to release their games in Web3, they could they would not need a platform like Woomba to do this. And if you don't have a, many many like AAA game developers already saying that they're gonna do it, I don't think this is a good idea. So this, of course, will affect the Wumba token price in the future. If no game developers want to pay extra to use their platform, why would you want to use it? And you want to be able, like when it comes to NFT in the games, you want to, to create your own NFTs for every separate game, right? You don't want to use NFT, the, the platform, like who would buy, like if you play a game on Steam, okay? You want to, if it's Web3 game fi, uh, the game you want the game to create their own NFT, or, right? You don't want like, oh, I will use Steam's own NFTs, but what can I use them for? Nothing. Okay, that will be like a terrible idea. Okay, and so I want to have a look at the road roadmap. I found it down here. Let's go. Here we have. So this was the first thing, Roma, and I can see here that they are going to release a game actually here called Dungeon Master Staking Game. So not a AA or AAA game, or and more something that has to do with staking. So I thought first that this was the roadmap, but then I found this one down here, and here we have a better kind of roadmap. So you see with dates and everything. So the Wombat token public launch is in the third quarter here here um, this year 2022 and the earliest for what they call self self service game listing portal is here it is in 2023 so th this is what I assume is the earliest time for any game developer to be able to add a game to their platform and this is a, an undisclosed date in 2023. So my analysis would say that the token price would probably most likely go down or crash until this date. And it's not even sure they will go up after that. It, everything depends on the usage. I can see why a useless token or I can't see why a useless token like this would gain any momentum also in this bear market like we're gonna go down like Bitcoin will lose 50% of their value still Ethereum will go down Terra Classic will go down every BNB will go down to 150 Polygon will go down to maybe 40 50 cents again I, I cannot see why they would release a token long before it's even possible to use it before it has any usage. It, it doesn't make sense. It's like complete madness. But maybe this is madness. Okay, let, let's continue. Okay, so far, if you're going to invest in this token, don't do it now. Okay, wait. But yeah, that, that, that is my um, financial advice to you guys. Okay, next. I want to check the website okay so we have the website up here so this is the website right so here we have some of their games let's see here so this is web 2 right so these are wait are these all the games yeah maybe it looks like that let's see or I don't know but I guess it's simple web 2 games that doesn't look um, AA or triple A at all this one is really simple could be Nintendo 8 bits or Super Nintendo maybe 16 bytes Vikings it, don't, it wouldn't look like this I don't think so this like its graphics it could be with um, Unreal Engine right uh, but who knows this doesn't look like that either this elf okay uh, looks like the same Okay. Now let's have a look at something that would determine if the token will be good or bad. The white paper and their tokenomics. Here we have it. So we can see here if the token is terrible, it doesn't matter how good the project is actually. Okay. 
Here it says I will re refresh my page. Okay, I already done that, but this is still here. I, I cleared my catch, it's still there. This means that there's something wrong with this page, or just this says so here for everybody. You can check it yourself. Okay, so they have written here, they have 2.6 um, million signups. Okay, 300,000 monthly active users. 65,000 daily active users and 1.2 million NFTs are minted. If you want to mint an NFT, you have to have a wallet already, right? But there's nothing in the roadmap when it was supposed to start or so. So I guess these numbers are fake. Red flag, okay. They're also writing that they have 20 gaming partnership here with AA and AAA publishers in game studios. That sounds good, right? <coughs> However, and they also have 40 AA and AAA games on their platform. But what, what did we see? One, two, three, four. Okay, I haven't downloaded the app. I will not do it, not yet. Oh, well, not yet, I would probably never do it, okay? Because it's just a waste of time. Well, I couldn't find a single AAA or AA game at all okay so just by this information this token presets give me red flags so far and also they have 700,000 NFTs staked in their dungeon master game as you remember they were gonna do something about the dungeon master here um, but it doesn't say when it's gonna be done in the roadmap so I guess it's already done according to them okay but who knows maybe it's just fake information but this is fun actually so far I haven't found or I haven't even thought about where on which blockchain this game would launch actually I always assume Binance or Binance Smart Chain you know since most game fi are launched there however I see here let's go back here I see here here this is polygon okay so they also have low fees, yes, but not as low as Binance. And if there's many microtransactions for the users, Binance is the place to be, actually. Not that I'm only supporting Binance, but I thought, like, if they're going to be small transactions, microtransactions in the game, you don't want to play, like, pay large fees all the time. You want to have small fees, right? <coughs> Especially as a gamer or users like you don't want to buy like let's say you want to buy an NFT that costs ten dollars you don't want to pay like one two three four five twenty dollars for like gas fee for the NFT is it's not good okay. so let's continue here um, and I will have a look at polygon to check their contract and see how many wallets have bought their token in that case because this is a pre-sale so yeah we can see how many have pre-pre bought it if there are any that would mean why would they need a pre-sale here on polka starter it wouldn't make sense at all for me unless you just want to make money right Meh. but i checked their in here so I, could, I couldn't find actually their here says contract address here says contract address like the team Wombat is all about transparency in everything we do a list of our smart contract can be found here with the launch token no you cannot it's not there that's not being transparent this being hiding something so another red flag okay however I open this audit click hacking okay um so i actually found let's see here i found a contract somewhere here first that i checked out so you have one contract here so this contract let's like they have many different contracts here but this one says the womba token so this is the one that should determine if it's good or not so you see here, it ends with 4, 4, 3, 4C, 4C, 3. So this is one token I found with them. This is another one. 
Sorry, we're unable to locate this text hash, but it's not a text hash. It's actually an address. Okay? This is interesting. Like, okay, never mind. I actually checked another. Let's see here. here. I actually checked another address with them about a wallet. So, so by looking at this one here at Polygon, we can see that there's no wallet so far. So with this in mind, how can they write in their white paper that they have 300,000 monthly active users, 65,000 daily active users, and 1.2 million NFTs are minted if there are no wallets? And actually this wallet address let's check this one too here because integration and unit test yes let's <coughs> because here they even have a child token okay but let's let's check this one 177 that is and like 1943a 1943a let's check if we can find it no we cannot find it this is like let's check here just for the fun of it no so there's something really terrible we have here, here second review scope initial review this is the first here is a address too i think this is the first one we checked right so let's go back there let's put it in and then you see nothing right let's go down to the second one here oh that's a hash sorry i was a bit tired there let's check this one because this is what they have submitted for reviews at Hacken, okay? And don't you see this interesting? Do you see what I see? The wallet address is for different casino games at when you checked it. And that doesn't sound like the platform we have a pre-sale for on Polka Starting. So this is a huge red flag. In my eyes, it's like they have submitted addresses for something else, but not for the Wumba token, okay? So far, this has shown me this is nothing more than a scam. The token is a scam, borderline to fraud, or maybe even fraud. So don't buy it. That's my financial advice. Don't buy something that's this <coughs> obvious a scam, okay? It makes me mad to see like they believe they're actually gonna get some money okay I think there's actually some people who won't see my review here and buy it actually so that's sad actually okay let's continue with this however I also want to see if there's any information about this team on the website so let's go back to the Wombat website here we go uh, you have a team here I push here or I press uh, okay join our team this let's go down so this is the so-called team like you have n hardly any information who they are Alejandro COO head like okay let, let's find Alex he seems to be this chief officer uh, is this the information you're gonna like spend the money on and believe that you can trust them like seriously this team doesn't even show themselves this is another red flag the team will probably just dump all the tokens that they own as soon as the token is listed on an exchange and everyone that have done the pre-sale will be well, you know the word, right? It starts with F and ends with... Yeah. Well, nobody... Everybody knows it. I want to check one last thing. The allocation of the tokens. I can't find the information actually here in the white paper. And that is another huge red flag. Like, why wouldn't you write about your tokenomics in the white paper? It's like like they're really trying to hide it okay however back here on 
Polka starter. I found the token. No wait, up here. Like even here, they haven't shown their faces. Like here, Adrian, CEO and founder. But who the f is he actually? He hasn't shown that. <sighs> okay, where is? We have to find the token. Here we have the token allocation. Okay, so just by. Let's see how much the team will give themselves in this rug pool, okay? So we have here the team, 10%. Liquidity allocation, 3%. Company, 15%. What? Ecosystem, 20%. So far, they have 48% of the total tokens. Yeah, that's terrible. And we don't even know the real wallet address yet. However, they also have a public sale, a private round, strategic round, and seed round. And I really would like to know which one is this one on Polka Starter. Is it the seed round? Maybe. 5%. They want 600,000. So they have max allocation to a price of token uh, 0 0.006. I want to actually calculate this. So if I have $600,000 times no should be divided. Sorry. Oh wait, it's easier. 6. So times 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 let's say it's 60 million tokens. That's 360. So it's actually more than 60 million tokens they're gonna sell so it's like uh, double that that's 720 so we're gonna see like maybe 100 million tokens yeah i think so sorry my math is. times 100 i'm a bit wrong now okay never mind Th that means that in this pre-sell they sold 22% of to tokens um, and left for the community we saw was or should be 30% and I calculated it and it's correct actually so far I have done two reviews about pre-sales of PokéStarter and both have had either terrible tokenomics and this one even more scam you know you've seen it yourself I also had a check on PokéStarter's website where they show off earlier pre-sale tokens. Like, let's go back here and check. Like if you scroll down here, you see these. Like all is green, right? So this sounds really good. So I check one of them. This one here, sodium, 814% plus. It's green. It's like helping most successful project raise funding. So sodium caught my eye. And I checked it up on CoinMarketCAC and I could see that it was actually down more than 99%. So this made me think, are all pre-sales on PokerStarter, rug pulls and failed? Well, I might have to do an investigation about this and show my findings in another video, right? And until next time, let's go to Thailand together so you don't forget that I'm giving away a plane ticket for one of my subscribers. So let's go to the sun and have some fun. Don't forget that I'm giving away either some BNB crypto or a trip to Thailand if I get that many subscribers. And you can be one of them. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Have a nice day. Bye bye.